What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 5, the Valheim playthrough. First off, just want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching along so far. Appreciate all the support the channel's gotten recently. Been getting a lot of new subscribers and a lot of great comments, and I really appreciate all that support. So thank you guys, and let's get on with this episode. So we've got some interesting things to do today. We're gonna have to teleport back up to the trader, find our boat, loop around down here, and go check out this swamp. Hopefully the swamp's pretty big, has some crypts in it, and we can get some iron, and then we'll get some things upgraded, get the stone cutter going so we can get some more defense in the base, get some new weapons and armor set up, and just kind of general upgrades all the way around as we move into the Iron Age. Before I get too invested in hanging out in the swamp, I don't want to forget to make some poison resistance meads. So we're going to need to set up a fermenter and get those meads started. I think what I'm going to do is put in another little shelf over here, fermenter up on top of it, and then we'll get the poison resistance meads going. Actually, we can get the bases right now. So we'll just go ahead and craft two of those up. So that's all the neck tail we have, apparently. And over here, I think we'll put in a little shelf for the actual fermenter. Bolt platform right here, just kind of as an extension of that little table. So we'll just line it up right on the edge. Right down right there. Get that fermenting. And then go ahead and pretty this up a little bit too. Now it looks a little bit nicer, like it's actually meant to be there. And we're back here at the boat. So let's head around to the south side of this island and go see how big that swamp is. I got high hopes for this one, so hopefully it pans out and we find some crypts right off the bat. It would be awesome to start collecting some iron. The swamp is coming into view here. We're just going to kind of skirt around the outside, try to get an idea of how big or small it is. See what's going on. See a lot of Draugr on the beach on that one little island there already. That's interesting. We got a nice welcome party waiting for us. Let's see. Looks like it might go in pretty deep, which is good. Cut between this little outpost and the island here. There's a purple Draugr. Don't see that every day. Alright, we're officially in the swamp, and it looks like this one might actually be pretty wide, which is awesome. It's a much higher chance of having what we're looking for inside there. The bigger it is, the better chance we have. I don't see any crypts from the, from the coastline here, but it's not unusual. Usually you have to get a little little farther in and then we'll start to render in. Let's make sure we don't hit the beach here while we're scanning around. It looks like this one might not actually be all that deep. I think I could see the Black Forest Mountain, like, it's kind of right back there. Which is a little disappointing, but it is super wide so far, so... Still got high hopes. There's at least a crypt in there. Would be nice. Maybe it opens up a bit over on this side. Find out. Of course, now it's getting super foggy, so... Thanks, weather. Really appreciate the assist here while we're trying to scout. Oh, hello. Oh, there's an abomination. Which is actually a good thing. I don't think abominations are all that hard to fight if you're decent at, uh getting your parries off with them, and getting the root harness would be one of our priorities here pretty soon, actually, so definitely before we go to the plains, but I'd rather get it sooner than later, so can't complain about that. All right, you know what? I guess we'll just leave the boat here, and uh, let's just head into the swamp here. We got the meat up, we got our armor and everything, so why not? Put a marker down here so we don't lose where our boat is. Feeling less good about our chances of finding a crypt in this swamp, to be honest. It's not very deep. Despite how wide it was. Don't think we're gonna have a winner on our hands with this one. Oh, we lost our rest bonus, that's not cool. Alright, little guys. Get out of my way. Got bigger fish to fry now. <laughs> Wrecked. That's a real bummer. 
I was hoping we'd uh, have better luck with this swamp. Oh no, it's almost nighttime too. That's not good. Don't think I'm in a really good position to fight the Wraith. But before it gets too late in the night, I should just say farewell and run away. Also keeping my eyes out to see- oh. <laughs> Man, the timing. It's literally just gonna say I'm also scanning around to see if we can find turnip seeds. And look at this. Two of them even. Unbelievable. Oh, we need inventory space for that for sure. Let's take care of this guy. Uh, right over here. Okay. Thanks, bro. Oh, hello. We're gonna need a ridiculous amount of blood bags. Alright, what can we trade for turn up seeds? What do we not need? I guess we don't really need resin. Get rid of that, pick up all these turnip seeds. That is a huge, huge find. Oh my gosh, there's a third one over here. Okay, alright, I'll take it back. The swamp is awesome. I have no complaints about this swamp whatsoever anymore. Jump in the boat and head somewhere else. Hopefully find a hopefully find another swamp. And we'll drop off some inventory, especially these turnip seeds. Make sure nothing happens to those. This guy over here is not ideal. Come on, stamina. Come on, stamina. Ah. There we go. Scrap iron? Wow. What? Oh my gosh! What was that? I guess we'll just run back over there and grab our stuff. Go ahead and sleep, so it's daytime at least. We don't have to worry about a wraith popping up behind us. Right, awesome. All that. Get our armor back on real quick. Excellent. I don't know, I was gonna set up the teleporter here so we could go back home, but since it's early morning, right here at the boat, we got everything we needed anyway. Let's wait. Oh. Oh no, it is. I was like, is that another leviathan? No way. It's literally a leviathan, a second leviathan right there. Oh my gosh. This map has been good to me so far, I'll tell you that. This is just a randomly generated seed too. Oh, is there another swamp across the way? Looks like there might be actually. Man. That almost looks like a mistlands area that's trying to spawn in over there on the on the left side. Interesting. Interesting. I hate the mistlands so much. Not looking forward to going over there. Can't believe we got another Leviathan though. This is like barely even ocean over here. Very strange. I feel like at some point recently, like I don't know if it was Ashlands or Bildor or what, but some recent update must have increased spawn chance for these guys. There's no way you would find this many of them. Alright. One thing I noticed uh, when we were mining the last Leviathan is I did not wait for my stamina to refill, so let's not make that mistake again this time. I'm trying to get some more... Oh, crap. Inventory, inventory man. Pay attention. I'm just all over the all over the place today. If we can get enough to make at least one harpoon, that'd be awesome. I wanna say we have fourteen at home from the last one. And I think you need forty? Thirty? Honestly I have no idea. I'm just gonna get as much as we can from this guy. Gonna get angry here in a second, but I think we can get one more. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's get back over to the boat. Before he sucks us into the bottom of the ocean. 
Yeah. Oh, we need to get around the other side. Man, I'm drowning. Everything's going awesome, guys. This whole trip has been going awesome the whole time, trust me. It's all according to plans. <laughs> uh, Alright, he's gone. We get off that one. 27? Plus a 14 at home? I mean, if it's only 30, we might be in a good place, but who knows? Let's go take a look at this one and see if we can find some grips. This might be one right here, right on the edge, even. Oh, there's two of them. Let's go ahead and slow way down here. Kind of park. I guess we'll park right here, because. Probably getting stuck. Oh, I forgot we're out of food too, so. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this guy. Mark him down. What the hell was that? I have no idea what just like exploded. Oh, wait, was that our boat? Oh my gosh. Away from the boat guy. He's over here. What's happening? You? Really? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on now. And fight me over here. That's what I thought. Alright, let's check this crypt out. Oh, perfect. All three entrances are sealed, but all three go somewhere. That's what you want to see. Now, do I have enough to drop a on or a campfire in here? Not even close. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's get to work. These first ones, when we still have kind of basic armor, you really just want to cut into the side as far as you can. Make a little window. Well, usually you want to make it so that you can't walk through it, but happened the way it happened. Alright, nothing going on in here anyway, so that's okay. Go ahead and get the rest of this cleared out then. Alright, I'm not too concerned about the blob. What I'm concerned about is I can hear flies buzzing. Which means there's a Draugr spawner somewhere. Possibly inside this room. Uh, we are not it resisted. Get that up. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can see if that yep, the spawner is inside there. I think they can make it through this gap that we've opened up already. If I can get some shots off on the spawner. Get higher maybe. There we go. Take that thing out as soon as we can. Oh, hello. You're on my face. Wall trophy. <laughs> Terrible trophy. There we go. Alright, take care of that first. Just so oh, you're an elite. Oh, wow. We do need an elite trophy. He's just gonna stand there and burn, then we'll take advantage of that. There we go. Looks like he did not drop a trophy for us, though. Ooh, two chains. Awesome. Very, very awesome. We're actually pretty, pretty close to being full up on our clary weight here. And this is this is a pretty big crypt actually. Oh my gosh. We'll run back over to the teleporter, head back to base. And then pretty much just gonna repeat this process until we oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Go forward. Please go forward. Go forward. 
forward. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we got the wind. Anyway, as I was saying, just gonna repeat this process until that uh, crypt is cleared out of all of its iron. And then we're gonna go hit up that other crypt right there and do the same thing. Once all that's done, then we'll get into uh, actually doing some fun stuff with the iron back at base. Making some upgrades, getting some base upgrades done, stuff like that. And if we're real lucky, we might even find a bone mass location inside one of these crypts. And give us a bearing for our next boss battle. We'll see how it goes. We can clear all this stuff out. If nothing interesting happens, then we'll cut to having a bunch of iron back at base. Or if something interesting happens, we will cut to that. This crypt here, the first one we found, is all cleared out. That second crypt over across the lake there is all cleared out. So let's head back to base and see what we got. So after getting all the iron scrap smelted into iron ingots, got about 96 to work with. Seems like a lot, but it's not. It's, it's really not. It's never enough. No matter how much iron you have, it's never enough. You always need more iron. But anyway, it does give us enough to do a couple of interesting things here at home. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put in the stone cutter. That'll work nicely. That'll give us some new crafting recipes, which is awesome. Now we can build with stone. We'll get some defenses set up around the base. Maybe a stone wall or something like that. Maybe we'll just rebuild the whole base with stone. I don't know. I haven't decided yet how I want to handle that do have quite a large amount of stone in storage. Plenty to work with to start. For now, what I think we're going to do is a little bit of farming, so I think our turnips are done. And then we'll probably go ahead and rebuild the fireplace now that we have the hearth and stone. We'll tear all this out and put in a new one. Let's go grab our turnips first. There we go. Get some new stuff, and we got the jacko turnip. Awesome. Let's see what that requires to build and get it done. Ah, no, just turnip and resin. Okay, we can do that. Let's grab one of those. Put it up on our table here. Let's so put it back in the corner a little bit more. Right there. That's got its own light, so we might even be able to get rid of the sconce here. There we go. Nice little... October table, and we're also crafting up some medium healing mead. That'll be good to have. But I think what we're gonna do now is go ahead and tear out this old dilapidated fireplace that we've been working with, put in a shiny new one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I'll probably tear it down and build it differently again. Well, that at least gets us up to a hearth, which should increase our comfort. Yep, it did. So now we're up to 16 minutes of comfort, which is nice. And we got the iron cooking station put in, which is also nice. And then last thing we'll do is go ahead and upgrade the cauldron with the spice rack. We should be able to slot in right above here. Put it right there. Nice. Now we can do sausages. Very excited about that. Turn up stew. So I guess it's time now to go ahead and upgrade our armor. We'll go ahead and make that. And we'll make that. And we'll make the helmet too. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Where are they coming from? Oh, there's some. Alright, here we go. Oh, stamina. Oh, stamina. And... That's not good. I actually don't have any food on me at all. Oh my gosh, alright, now they're all coming. Alright, trying to block that. Trying to block that. No, 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 get out. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, we almost died right there. Don't hit me. Hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. 
Also don't want to drag them too close to my base or they're going to de-aggro and just start destroying the bees. Ouch. I, I don't know what happened right there. Oh my god. Alright, we might have to fall back here. Need some stamina. <laughs> And the front door is open. Okay, this could go very badly, very quickly. Eesh. Just getting ready to do a little episode wrap-up, and all of a sudden they decided to come out here and choose violence. Alright, we need food. We need gear. We need this door closed. Do we have anything made already? Ow, what? Ow. Okay. Got me through the window. Nice. That'll work. That'll work. What else we got? I guess these I don't have to do for now. All of our gear back on. I put the wrong gear on. Ow, ow, ow. Really hope they haven't destroyed all the bees. Eh. I'm hitting my own base more than I'm hitting- oh gosh, I destroyed one of the blueberries! Oh gosh. All bad. Stop it. Alright, they did not destroy the bees. Thank goodness. That's all I was really stressed about. Killing the blueberry bush kind of sucks, but we can just put a new one in. It'll be fine. Okay. This unexpected and repair some of this. I'm sure these guys are all good. It's all good. Damage to the walls, but not too bad. So on that note, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up episode five here. We got all of our iron gear set up, we got our stone cutter set up so we can do some more advanced base work. We got our cooking upgraded, we got our mead production going, everything's looking up pretty good. And we found a bunch of turnips so we can get some higher level farming going as well. So pretty successful expedition out into a couple of swamps so far today. We did not, however, find bone mass location. So we are still going to have to keep looking for that as we explore the rest of that swamp. There's still quite a bit that I haven't explored in the middle. Also, from behind these crypts, it looks like this actually goes off quite a ways as well. So, definitely more swamp to explore, hopefully some more crypts to find, and then we'll get the bone mass location. Might even be up here if we're super lucky. Who knows? We do already have all the withered bones we need. So if we do find his boss arena, we can go ahead and summon him up right away, which would be awesome. All that and more coming up in the next episodes. I do you want to take a moment to say thank you again for watching this far through. Thanks to everybody who likes, comments, and subscribes, and I will catch you in the next video.